Alright. So, been a while since we've done this. How you doing? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm a coffee guy. If you know me or have viewed some of my reviews before, and um, I was in the liquor store the other day, and uh, I found this thing. Um, can't quite find this the easiest. Is uh, it's my first time seeing this anywhere. Uh, it's Patron, which is an alcohol. So Patron, um, you know, they make uh, tequila, I think it is. Um, they made this. It's called Exo Cafe. A cafe, Patron Exo Cafe, not really sure. Um, and uh, I got this stuff before. It's called, I guess, uh, Grind. I don't know. But it's like espresso shots. So it's, it's actual, like, it's, it's uh, coffee rum. I think it is, yeah, coffee rum. And what I would do with that is, I found that it's good, you could just pour it right in your coffee. It tastes pretty good. Um, so, I and I love coffee. Uh, and this, I figured I'd, I'd pick it up and give it a shot. I've never actually had Patron. <laughs> so this is, uh, I guess, um, alternate running title being a uh, man who's never had Patron uh, tries to review Patron. <laughs> This is a little different, obviously, right? Because you can get drunk off of this, sure. But, um, 35% alcohol, 70 proof. So, and this is, I don't know if uh, other Patron is like this, but when you open the box, it comes in like tissue paper. And it's like a, let's just see the color on that. It's like a, like a light purple, like a bluish kind of color. Isn't that cool? There's like a little card, a little flip card in here. This has like uh, recipes, one for a Thin Lizzy, the other for Espresso Martini. Um, yeah, don't really matter. Uh, I'm apprehensive a bit. Uh, I'm a little worried because I don't know uh, what this will do, what it'll taste like. Yeah, I've never had Patron before, so um, let's get this open. I like corks. I, I like, I like, uh, what the hell? Uh, oh, I just caught a whiff of something weird. It wasn't this, though, apparently. Uh, but uh, I like uh, bottles with corks in them. I think cork is a really cool material. Um, not really an easy way to remove this. I think the cork will just grip the adhesive wherever it feels like. I made a fresh pot of coffee for this too because um, I don't really know how best to review this aside from just tasting it but um, I think like I think it would be uh, a nice thing to uh, like try it a number of different ways right and then sort of give my opinion uh, that way. Wrap the little Patron sticker around the. It's like the, it's like uh, yeah. I don't. Know. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, let's see how it goes. I'm a, I'm a bit worried. I'm gonna hate this shit, but I, I, like I said, I do like coffee. So, and the coffee I have here with me is black. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's give it a whiff. Yeah, smells about about what I figured. Um, it's got a bit of a smell. I I think like Kahlua. A bit a bit like a good bit like Kahlua. Wow, wow, that is. You definitely smell the alcohol in it, which is a good thing because. If you're buying like a alcoholic drink of some kind, you want to be able to smell the alcohol, right? So uh, I think what I do is um, give this a try first, a shot, if you will. <laughs> give it a shot. Uh, give this 
take a shot at this first. Then, uh, then I think we'll we'll do that then because it's of course this is part of it whether we want to uh, include it or not. This has to be a part of it just because it works so well with, with grind. Makes sense to you know, carry on over here. Yeah, the glass is pretty thick. Nice. I'm being a pussy. Let's go. Oh, and I just, just a heads up, I, I figured I would do this during the morning because it's coffee, you know? <laughs> I'm not really sure the best way to really uh, review alcohol. Uh, this is my first, like, uh, alcoholic beverage I'm reviewing. Actually, I tried reviewing, it was like a, uh, like a alcohol seltzer thing. It wasn't very good. Um. I think it's just because seltzer itself is is fairly abrasive. And their box of alcohol up there, I actually want to review. Uh, I'm going to not mention it yet. Um, surprise. A bit of a surprise is what we'll do. Make that a surprise there. Uh, so that first, that first uh, like, I'm going to call that a qu like a quarter shot. Because it wasn't a full shot. Full, didn't really feel like a third of a shot, something like that. Um... Very strong, as you could probably tell. Um, it wasn't disgusting. It wasn't disgusting, as, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, and, uh, and it was like um, when, I, when I tasted it and had it in my mouth for a little bit, I swished it around. Um, it was a bit like, uh, like it made me think of the f like flavor and the sensation of cinnamon. Um, so, this makes me think a little bit of cinnamon. Um, yeah, it's um, hard to really put my finger, because I don't know how to compare this to, to other alcohols, you know, because I don't really drink a whole lot. Especially, like, it's hard to really say uh, how this is as a Patron item. That's the other problem I'm having, too, is uh, real ignorance about me with... What what I'm, the, the the brand I guess, is it brand Patron's a brand? I don't even know what you would classify Patron. Is it a brand? It's a company. Uh, kind of help. Whatever. You, do you understand what I'm saying there? I hope you do, because I don't think I do, and that, that I don't like that. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, it's the smell isn't bad. Let's go for another taste. I'm gonna go for. Um, a, a taste for like a like swish purpose, you know. Uh, how like go, go a little bit for swishing. Yep. They, mm, mm. I think they they put this isn't really this isn't really the biggest bottle, right? You have to understand. Um, we use like a like a dollar bill as like a system of measure, I guess. So far, this isn't so bad. I had I've had much worse. Um, I think. Uh, the dog food was probably the worst I've had, uh, as far as things being, um, digestible and, uh, edible and all that. So, uh, this bottle, you, you probably can't tell because I'm kind of, I'm not exactly a small guy, I'm kind of a big guy, to be honest, kind of a big guy. Um, but this bottle, just for... Uh, a system of measure here, if this bill would fucking cooperate. Um, reviewing this item, by the way, is kind of, um, not something that makes sense for me to do. 
Uh, not because it's an alcohol item and I don't really drink alcohol, um, but because I typically uh, review things, um, at least when I was reviewing things, I typically review things that you can find easy enough, that is cheap enough. Uh, I think reviewing um, harder to find items makes sense though, because at the same time considering the price, uh, because, uh, you know, if you ever run, run into this, if you have the chance, the opportunity to run into this, buy it somewhere, um, you know, you have it, there's at least one person out there's going, hey, like, you know, this item, and then you have a review on your hands. Um, so, uh, from the little bit that I had, from the little bit that I had, um, the coffee is definitely there. I'm going to go for one more shot because I want to make this a well-rounded statement I'm about to make. So, I think the coffee is, is definitely there, and there's enough of it there that... Um, this will feel like a coffee item. Um, I get little sensations that the coffee is added for flavor. Um, uh, but this it says this is made with Patron Silver Tequila. There's not much else to go off of. There's just a government warning thing in the back. Um, I don't think they, they really go over much of any of this, to be honest. Um, okay. Um, there's not really, not really much in the way of any kind of indicator about how this was made. Uh, it just says, um, you know, made with Patron uh, silver tequila, and uh, the caramel color was added, so whatever. Um, but the, uh, the coffee flavor is, it doesn't take center stage exactly, it definitely um, influences it a lot, a good lot, because it's not just tequila, right? It's not just tequila, it's um, coffee as well, of course. Um, again, I get like this like cinnamon taste out of it. it tastes, yeah, it tastes like cinnamon a bit. <laughs> Um, and, uh, now I'm curious, uh, how our, uh, little potion here, uh, what would do with actual coffee, so. And again, this is, this is black coffee, so. Yeah, that, that color is pretty nice, isn't it? That color is pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. I almost feel like, uh... Like a gangster, I say pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty. Kind of like a gangster when I say it like that. Cool little bottle. I like that I can actually reseal the bottle pretty easily. It's nice. Um, the color of the presentation is is there. I think it's, it's good stuff. And now uh, this is the second tasting of it. Um, so so far uh, it's not bad. Um, to do shots with someone with it, it makes sense, obviously, because, uh, you know, he, alcohol, you do that with. But, uh, it just feels, um, Jesus Christ, um, look at that. The plastic, that the, the cap and everything was, was held together with, um, uh, looks like a dick. And, uh, this is relevant, this is, this is relevant, I mentioned the, the dick thing. It looks like a dick, doesn't it? Like a, yeah. No, it does. It looks like a dickhead. Uh, <clears throat> I was gonna say, uh, it's shots, because, um, I think about, like, taking people to breakfast and stuff. I just think that, think of that as a very, like, a intimate kind of romantic thing. And, um, like, coffee, breakfast in bed, that's, like, a thing. So, uh, this guy's here to, to help. He, he, yeah, he wanted to give you a condom, but he, he forgot that he didn't have his head on completely there. So he can't, can't help you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, 
So now my so my problems with with doing this next part of of the review is this is black coffee. Um, why is that important? Um, well, it's not a coffee that I would drink black. I don't know if it's going to be very good black, but that's okay um, because this coffee isn't really that good anyway. It's okay. But um, there's no cream in it. This is going to give me, if you just toss a uh, Patron Cafe in any old cup of coffee, how will it do it if you have just black coffee? So this works. I'm just hesitant a bit because I, you know, all things considered, this doesn't sound like a good time to me, but it's this is for the purpose of the review, so I have to do it. Uh, I've done worse before, so let's just go. Um, so I'm smelling because I've smelled this black before. Um, the Patron very clearly made some kind of difference on with the odor. So that's uh, something of note is you'll be able to tell lightly that you have some in. But then again, I don't know if I poured enough in. Uh, to me, I could tell that it's not like itself right now because it's a poor you know, pre-existing information knowledge aside, I could tell that the smell isn't just black coffee. There's more to it than just black coffee. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm getting like a, a good bit of the alcohol smell. A good bit, not a whole lot. It's not like the worst. Um, it's just like, I just, I'm smelling a cup that, that has alcohol in it. Um, and other things. It's just not a big deal. Um, let's go. Um, hmm. Huh. Let me try that again. It's weird. Um, ha. Huh. That's different. Let me um, let me go for a third. This is this is different. Wow. So if I remember correctly, the coffee brand is Maker's Mark. Not Maker's Mark. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Members Mark. I think it's called Maker's Mark. Jesus Christ. I work at a liquor store now, so I'm thinking of other alcohols for some reason, the, the names of other alcohols. Members Mark, like the Sam's Club brand coffee. Um, hmm. Okay, so this is actually kind of interesting and pretty cool for all you cool kids out there. Listen up. Um, the Patron Cafe in this, in this black coffee. Um, I, I wish there was an easy way for me to show you this black coffee. I promise it is. Um, that actually makes the black coffee tolerable. The Patron Cafe makes, makes it tolerable. There's no outstanding flavor that you can tell comes from this. From the Patron Cafe. Um, and maybe it didn't add a whole lot, but I like this result. This is a nice result. I like this. Um. I don't feel annoyed tradition like I usually do from black coffee, the way it tastes. Um, this is a tolerable. This just this made the black coffee tolerable. Um, I can drink this right now as it is. Probably not have to worry about adding cream at all. And I usually do add cream. It's not often that I don't add cream. It's not often. Because I you know, I don't drink coffee uh, you know, to, oh, I'm drinking black coffee. Aren't I so cool? Aren't I so cool? I'm drinking black coffee. No, I don't drink coffee for any any reason other than the focus. You understand? Because I can't. It doesn't help me wake up. I, I'm being on and off of Ritalin as a kid as often, frequently, and as high a dose as I was. Um, this is good. Coffee is good for me to focus. That's why I drink a lot of it because I try to stay focused. All right. Um. This, hey, it worked. I got coffee on me. 
Um, this is uh, this black coffee with the Patron at it. It's actually uh, tolerable. It's tolerable. So um, I can only, in in uh, the favor of the Patron here, give this. Uh, hey, this is good. This is good marks here. Good stuff. Good job. Um, how do I feel about this this Patron item? So this this bottle, as as small as it is, didn't cost me a whole lot. I think I paid sixteen dollars for it. Um, so for sixteen dollars, you're getting a Patron product, a pretty good amount of one. Um, the bottle is nice. The presentation of the box is nice. Just the just the light purple, purplish pink um, color of the box is is really nice. I mean, really though, really. Look at that color. That's a nice color. Um, so the presentation is nice. Uh, drinking a Patron item for the first time is different. Because um, I don't know what to compare it to. You know, But uh, I have I had little moments where I, I nailed down some things that really stood out. Like the, the, sen the sensation of cinnamon. The sensation of cinnamon is very much there. Um, and and uh, you know it's it's hard to look away from when you see it once you know. Um, so this wasn't so bad. Uh, I actually rather enjoyed it as weird as a contortionist I became earlier. Uh, I enjoyed that for the most part. Um, coffee tequila. I didn't think I'd see today. I didn't think I'd ever see that that kind of thing happen. To be real with you, I didn't think I'd ever see that happen. Um, uh, the the sensation of drinking it the patron there cafe wasn't that wasn't really abrasive in much of any way um, it you know I usually react the same way like I did like uh, whenever I drink uh, a pretty strong alcohol thing something with at least a strong like taste strong flavor uh, up front. when it's strong like it is I react to that but react in that way uh, regardless. Um, my body will do that shake thing you've probably seen people do where it's like, ooh, just did the shot, ooh, I'm shaking. Um, I would say, I would say it's worth a, worth a buy. I'm not going to give it a, a number rating uh, because I don't know how best to judge alcohol. But what I will do is I'll say that this is worth the time. This is worth the money. Um, this Worth the time, worth the money. If you like coffee, if you like alcohol, if you like both, buy this. Buy this. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, I don't know what else to say. Um, I personally enjoyed it. I didn't get a coffee experience out of it as much as I wanted, but that's okay because you shouldn't have expectations with shit that you're unfamiliar with anyway. You should just expect to have some kind of experience and leave it at that anyway uh thanks for watching um yeah uh spoiler alert spoiler alert we're going to be reviewing um crown royal peach uh next time i've never had crown royal either so um we'll see what happens